Hello everyone, this is my um, Dumbbells um, 3D model model that I want to show for what I've done. Um, it's an old project, but I just wanted to show um, some of the 3D modeling I've worked on. It's not perfect, as you can see right here. Um, <laughs> so, but basically it shows. Um, I've highlighted one of the dumb the weights for the dumbbell I used it using a um, a cylinder shape um, I didn't use nerves so um, for this one I used it for for the another one but essentially um, this is a dumbbell um, it even has a little Thing that you use to tighten to hold the lock and um, let's see what else I can show for the bars um, I use um, kind of like a um, a cylinder but you can see like where on um, this part that there's um, that there's little ridges that's to show detail on like you know how some weights have grippage um basically i'm not perfect it it was essentially my f when i started it was my first time 3d modeling and i know i have it in um some weights showing in my little gym kind of thing animation on my website but um it's supposed to show and the f top one on the f the first dumbbell it's supposed to be just a regular um d weighted dumbbell dumbbell um and then the second one is supposed to be a curved dumbbell and i just wanted to sh essentially show um what I did for it, um, I made sure I showed details to make it look like the actual thing, um, and I kind of like use um, what's that thing called again? Um, there's a way that you can do it. I forgot that you would press, um, you would create like little dots, and then it'll you press down to create that. Um, detail for the dumbbell um i just wanted to keep it simple like i'm not gonna write like it's like a 50 pound or some type of um weight um and then there is um what else of the details i can talk like like this um this um the corkscrew thing it's kind of essentially simple you you're basically doing the same thing but when you create the indention you would actually do s delete like the, the middle and then put, um put, you basically create layers on the cylinder and it would um give you that image of those ridges and then this little thing is a helix I didn't use a cylinder but I just shaped it I essentially spaced out the cylinder um, the helix and then um, kind of created that ridge when you roll the weight onto the um, thing let me just try to zoom in and see if I can show you the detail of the, the ridge um, because yeah um how you i remember now um how you um get these little bumps it's like you use a bevel and um it's like kind of you'll create like sections of like where you want how much detail you want it and you'll push it forward and it'll create that little um grippage kind of look for um, the 3D, um, the feelness of like being able to grip.